Today, we're explaining how to connect your Samsung Odyssey G5 monitor using a USB-C to DisplayPort cable. This might seem tricky because the G5 uses DisplayPort, but your computer might only offer USB-C. Let's break it down step by step. 1. First ensure you have the correct cable, a USB-C to DisplayPort cable. It's crucial that it's a DisplayPort cable, not just a USB-C to USB-C or a USB-C to HDMI. Cheap cables can sometimes cause issues, so it's worth investing in a reputable brand. 2. Locate the ports on both your monitor and your computer. On your Samsung Odyssey G5 monitor, you'll find a DisplayPort input. It's usually marked with a DisplayPort symbol, a stylized logo of a small square with some arrows. On your computer, find a USB-C port that supports DisplayPort Alternate Mode, DP Alt Mode. This is important. Not all USB-C ports support video output, Often, these USB-C ports with DP Alt Mode capability are bigger and sometimes have a lightning bolt icon next to them, or are colored differently. 3. Now plug one end of the USB-C to display port cable into the USB-C port on your computer that supports display port Alt Mode. Make sure it's securely connected. 4. Next, plug the other end of the cable, the display port end, into the display port input on your Samsung Odyssey G5 monitor. Again, ensure a secure connection. 5. Turn on both your monitor and your computer. Your monitor should automatically detect the signal and display the image from your computer. If it doesn't, don't panic. 6. Check your computer's display settings. You might need to select the Samsung Odyssey G5 as your primary display. Go to your computer's display settings, usually found in the control panel or system settings. Look for a section related to displays or monitors. 7. If the monitor is listed but not displaying correctly, try selecting different resolutions or refresh rates from the display settings. The G5 supports various options, so finding the optimal settings for your setup might involve a little experimentation. 8. If you're still having trouble, check your cables again. Ensure there are no loose connections. Try restarting both your computer and monitor. 9. If the problem persists after trying all these steps, check your computer's driver updates for the graphics card. Outdated drivers are sometimes the culprit. 10. As a last resort, consider contacting Samsung support or checking online forums for solutions specific to your computer model and the Samsung Odyssey G5. Often, community solutions can provide helpful insights. Remember to always refer to your monitor and computer manuals for detailed specifications and troubleshooting steps. By following these steps, you'll be enjoying your Samsung Odyssey G5 monitor with your computer's USB-C port in no time.